Hello, all my beautiful Virgo friends. Welcome to your April 16th through 30th, 2021 reading. Many blessings to you all. This is a collective reading for all Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. That means if you'd like a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. Um, don't forget, if you haven't visited the website in a while, uh, there's new services. So you might want to check that out. And there's other things, all Royal Mystic things, center on royalmystic.com. If you need to reach me for any reason, you can do that as well. Also, there is um, the one last thing I want to share with you is to please be sure to hit like. And if you have not subscribed, that would be welcome too. But the like button is important because that helps me to uh, get into the analytics of the YouTube wonderment, right? The, the grand Google circulation of videos that will help me to uh, reach more people. So when I get the likes from you guys, and that sets me up for it being circulated more often. So that's... I would appreciate that. And we'll go right into our energy. We have the Knight of Wands and the Three of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is the action of the energy moving forward. It is now time to take action. It's showing up here. And the Three of Wands is expanding and moving forward in a new direction. So here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, Spirit guides, gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Virgo, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. <laughs> thank you so much, divine. Your presence is always appreciated and very welcome. So, these are the cards in the order they fell. We had a lot of movement there. The Empress, Divine Feminine. This is a new abundance, being in a place of being inspired, moving forward. The Page of Pentacles usually means an offer, financial offer or financial agreement. The Ace of Swords is a victory and having a direct uh, line of sight as to what you're after now. And the Nine of Pentacles is the energy of the Garden of Eden. So we have the Nine of Cups, which is the underlier or the um, second cut card. We'll talk about that in a second. The Chariot is the Cancer Major Arcana, and it also means leveling up, upgrade energy, and the Page of Cups, holding holding that information to your chest until it's on a need-to-know basis, right? <laughs> and you don't want to jinx it yet. So here we have the Two of Rods, getting your choices made. You have options. Very fast-moving energy coming in with the Knight of Swords and the Page of Wands. Getting, sort of getting directions or action, what you need to do and how you need to do it. Instructions. Well, my Virgo friends, we'll take this Ten of Pentacles. Hallelujah. <laughs> this is a, a very large sum of money, either in one lump sum or over time. It means the end of lack. Very strong, beautiful energy for that. We have the Empress, which is the energy of being very much in a place of new beginnings. This framework here, if you if you see the Emperor, you would see the difference. The Emperor's little frame here, the, the wheel, the zodiac wheel, is completely filled in. It's completely solid gold. This is just a framework. So this is letting you know we're at a beginning point. She's got the framework there for you to build on, and she's bringing the inspiration and new energy in to help you do so. So... The Empress is beautiful energy of, of divine guidance. We have, and that's the feminine, is the something growing, something new being brought in. Then we have this page of pentacles, which is usually an offer of funding or financial. Uh, they're giving you a financial offer. You have the ace of swords, which is helping to get you in a straight direction. This is allowing you to be 
very clear about where you're going and nothing is blocking your view at this point now everything's kind of all the fog is lifted and you can see the whole scene and here's the nine of pentacles which is the universe uh, bringing you the abundance you need this is the garden of eden energy and the main thing about this card is you can manifest anything that you want including abundance as long as you believe that it is possible for the universe to provide it and that is the energy of being in a place of absolute belief now we have the nine of cups which is your heart's desire being granted this is an amazing energy of feeling very safe and secure and protected and abundant so very lovely energy there that's a yes from the universe we have the chariot which is an upgrade this is allowing you to move forward uh, unencumbered very much in a place of a higher rank or higher position as you move forward then we have the page of cups and the page of cups is the energy of holding back the information until it's absolutely finalized so that there's no hitch in it and you're kind of guarding it like a secret and we have the two of rods which is the energy of being able to make a choice giving yourself uh, it's, its options and giving yourself the clearance to do what you feel is your right thing because you don't have to follow any given path this is saying you have a choice so you can pick which thing you prefer the knight of swords is something very fast coming in so it's either information or a divine intervention of some kind this is like a lightning strike and this little page of wands is giving you instructions on how to proceed he's kind of like the town crier he comes in to to assist so we've got the nine of rods as your underlier the nine of rods is where you feel like um, you're battle weary for sure you've you've put all these you've done all the work to get all these other rods planted securely and this is the last one going in so this is right before the breakthrough just know don't give up five minutes before your miracle because you're right there thank you angels archangels divine pure white light divine spirit spirit guides gods and goddesses thank you so much for being present here to allow all virgo sun moon and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path we thank you so much divine for these blessings and beautiful messages and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended we thank you for this divine guidance as always and we welcome your blessed energy thank you so much divine we welcome you always your presence is always welcome and appreciated there's the nine of pentacles second time second time for the knight of rods that was in your cut cards the eight of swords and the three of swords there's the emperor he's a little different than the other deck it would show the wheel if it was in the same deck the page of cups And the Ten of Swords. This is being released from the feeling of fear or being under attack. There's the beautiful Chariot. The Eight of Cups being able to move past whatever has been holding you back or standing in your way. And the Two of Pentacles is remaining focused on your goals. So we have Temperance. And Temperance is the Archangel Uriel. It is the Sagittarius Major Arcana. As the Archangel Uriel, she is doing alchemy to bring in everything synchronistically, to make everything work out absolutely perfectly in the natural. And that's the best way to have anything happen is in its own timing. We have the Empress, which is the, the new energy coming in and the expectation of something to be brought into this realm for you and the nine of pentacles is saying to continue to have the belief that the universe is absolutely on your side and has your back and is continuously working conspiring in your favor that is the offer of abundance or some kind of financial 
agreement. There's the Knight of Rod saying it's action now. This may be a financial offer you make to someone else as well. The Ace of Swords is the energy of absolutely being in the divine focus. Having all the things that have been holding you back. We've vanquished that. And it's telling you don't overthink it. This Eight of Swords is when we get too much in our heads. So just stay concentrated on the spiritual side. Don't let yourself get into the reality. The thing is when we're manifesting and we're looking at a situation. Right now it still looks like it does two days ago. From, from our human point of view. When you get into spirit mind, that's a whole different thing. And that's what it's got the eyes covered here for in this Eight of Swords. Because she can't see the difference in the, in the reality of the now. But she's manifesting that reality to be different. And that's why the eyes are covered. So that your human eyes don't discredit what you're manifesting. So, the Nine of Pentacles, again, telling you have faith, keep that faith, use it to bring in what you need. And the Three of Swords indicates a time period for the answer to that. And it's three days, three weeks, three months. Third time's the charm. It can mean also the removal of whatever may have you stuck. So these three swords are coming out and then your heart is free. So beautiful energy. There's the Nine of Cups. It's time for celebration. Whatever you're receiving is something that making you feel very happy and excited the nine of cups is the energy of your heart's desire being granted and the emperor is the manifestation of that that is the actualization coming into the into reality of what your heart's desire is the chariot is feeling very much in a victory um, being getting an upgrade getting the feeling of being liberated it also means uh, being treated like royalty. Then we have the Page of Cups, which is the universe continuing to bring in this wave of abundance. It's saying you will continuously be fed and provided for by the universe with that Page of Cups. It's got the fish in the cup. It's being offered. And even though you're in a place where you're trying to not really telegraph your, your move here, it's going to free you from this feeling of being under attack burdened with something negative whatever the toxic energy is the cycle is done this is the close of that cycle which means you get to move past it again you've got the chariot here the decision you make could be something as simple as um, to offer somebody something or not right so it can be to move here or to stay where I'm at, you know, just whatever. East Coast, West Coast, whatever you want to say. It's two decisions, very simple. They're both moving in the same direction. So either way, you're going to go forward and end up roughly close to the same position. But you've got the chariot. So it's saying whichever move you make, you're still coming out on top. So we love that. Then we have the Knight of Swords. This is very fast moving out of the blue. And the Eight of Cups, which means you've moved past all challenges. The universe is giving you the green light to proceed forward. And now you can put this behind you. It is over. You've passed the test. The Page of Wands, very strong energy of being in a place of allowing yourself to hear what the advice is that's being given and to apply it by Continuing to focus on what you're supposed to be doing, not what the drama is happening in this, where those two ships are have, being tossed and flipped and turned and they're in that rough sea. This little page can't do anything about that. So sometimes we have people in our lives that are constantly kicking up drama and they try to pull us in. And this is saying, close your eyes and focus on your thing. Don't pay attention to that. You cannot save that ship. If you did swim out to it and somehow make it to the ship, you're still in the energy of being in the same boat they're in. They're still, they're no better off and now you're worse off. So sometimes we have to leave people to their drama. Let them learn on their own. So 
Many blessings, my dear Virgo friends. This is an amazing reading. I send you love, light, and abundance, and I'll see you again in May. Don't forget, we have the second Sunday um, crystal spotlight coming in uh, this Sunday on the 11th. And uh, I would love for you to all be there. So I'll see you on Sunday, whether you watch the video or watch it live. Love and light, my friends. Namaste.